Hi, I'm Travis Adams. I'm here with Mr. Eric Finisted, the principal of Silver Creek High School. Now, you've had a good year this year, but what was your biggest accomplishment this year? Biggest accomplishment? I don't think I can reduce it to just one, so I'd have to tell you about quite a few. Are All you right, willing just, to listen? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? Within the last week, we were notified that we had um, 14 kids who had received AP scholar designations at the various levels. And that's always a wonderful thing, but you couple that with a National Merit semifinalist that we were just recognized that Silver Creek has produced. We have uh, eight students that will be uh, participating in the, the Betcher scholarship. Uh, really, it's a race at this point because by springtime, the scholarship will give a, a full ride scholarship to any Colorado university. Um, so it's a very prestigious honor, which we've had two students win within the last three years here out of the entire state. So along with, generally there's about 30 other kids statewide that receive this honor. Um, you know, we look at just a couple of weeks ago, we had, uh, <clears throat> we had our library was recognized as the number one library across the entire state of Colorado. And that's in all classifications. When you look at uh, uh, K through 12, when you look at the university level, when you look at the, the public library system, our library was ranked number one. And it's on all account of all, all of them. Oh, okay. All of them. Wow. I know. That's big. That, it's, it's huge. And so we're pretty lucky. We have a wonderful librarian and Mr. Gurner who's constantly pushing the envelope with a lot of the technology and social networking. And well, heck, this week it's banned book week, so you never know what uh, what's going to show up other than Catcher in the Rye and some <laughs> others. But... Uh, yeah, we, we've just had some tremendous accomplishments, um, Mr. Adams, so I'm, I'm very, very proud of the work that our kids are doing, the work that our teachers are doing, and, and uh, you know, this is coming off of last year when we were ranked as a top 5% school nationwide. You want to know how that happened? Yeah. Well, it, you know, it's, it's pretty interesting because we've never had that designation before. We know we're a great school, but now... We're within the top 5% of public high schools nationwide, as designated by the U.S. News and World Report. And so how they come to that designation is they look at um, your ACT scores. And, and here, unlike many schools across the nation and all over Colorado, all our kids take the ACT, our AP scores, all right? They've also taken into account our state testing scores. They've taken into account our college preparedness and how many kids are going on to college. So on behalf of the work that you've done, we earned that distinction. That's pretty darn cool. All right. Well, you've had many accomplishments, but what are you looking forward in the future? What am I looking forward to in the future? Well, I know that we, we face some significant challenges, all right? And I'm, I'm going to approach that first before I say what I'm looking forward to. Because the challenge is we've had a, a, a state... Uh, a state reductions in education for the last three to four years. Okay, it's nothing new. Everybody knows that this is happening. We've got a down economy. And so the challenge is, how do we continue to do great things? Okay, how do we continue to push the envelope in education and prove that our kids are head and shoulders above those across the state and the nation that are coming out of Silver Creek and St. Vrain schools? But how do we do that when the state continues to minimize the budget or, or reduce the budget with, with what we have to work with. So that's a significant challenge, but I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to. On October 21st, our marching band is going to be featured on a television show called Making Monsters. And, you know, working with high school kids every day, I feel like I'm making monsters all the time. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the, the, the rest of, the, rest of the, the country will get to see it. And, and truly... It's a testament to their hard work because our kids in that marching band were here every day all summer working on this show and they've partnered with a, uh, a production company out of Greeley called Distortions. They've got one-off masks, the chance to work with Hollywood artists uh, who design sets and, and these, you know, all kinds of gore and stuff. But the music is going to be fantastic and that's going to air on October 21st on the Travel Channel and you'll see our Silver Creek High School kids making monsters. Alright, well it appears that we are out of time but thank you so much for joining us. You bet, thank you.